barbershop conversation, guys, feel free to hit the subscribe button. So I saw the way in. I don't. I didn't really see anything that looked outstanding. He basically lost an extra pound, which is I don't take lightly. But I'll say this: Liam Smith has every measurable advantage in this fight, and it's just a shame that he's going to go in and fight in the phone booth because if he if he impersonates uh, Laura Floyd Mayweather, I don't know if he has a talent, obviously, but he can make this a really boring and dragged out fight, which will indeed frustrate Canelo because Laura did it, Floyd did it, and it definitely frustrated him. And Amir Khan did it. I had Kamir. I had Kamir. <laughs> I had Amir Khan winning every round until he got knocked out. Maybe he lost the round before he got knocked out because Canelo started applying a little bit more pressure. But uh, uh, we'll, we'll just have to sit back and see. But it was it was the same way in. But Canelo Alvarez it looks really good. But he shaved his beard too. So I don't know why he shaved his beard. Was that an extra ounce? I, I would have thought he would have kept that beard. Uh, just for a, a PR move, you know what I mean? Um, you know, just to attract a woman. But his beard is shaved. He looked great. You know, uh, Canelo looks real. He looks, he looks like a really good athlete. I don't, and I, I think he's around. I think he's an inch taller than me. If I, I haven't stood next to him in a while. Um, I didn't get a chance to stand next to him at the. Uh, I haven't stood next to him since the Cotto Canelo fight because Amir Khan. He was on a. He was on the DS, so I didn't get a chance to send it. But I think he's like an inch taller than me. At least he looks that way, you know. But anyways, barbershop conversations, typical way and nothing fancy. Canelo, cool, calm demeanor as usual. Liam Smith, first time I've seen him in a way in and he looks smiley, happy, you know what I mean? Nervous, nervous, good energy. Uh, but we have to see tomorrow, see how much that, that pound really, really made a difference. But uh, Liam Smith... He throws a really good left hook to the body, which can neutralize Canelo's quote unquote powerful right hand, you know, uh, because he'll be protecting. If he can land that left hook to the body, which he throws really well, I believe that I've seen in, in his fights. But he but he negates that by fighting in a phone booth, you know what I mean, which is disgusting. I don't like that about him in this fight. You know, he's just a he's just a more well-rounded uh no, I'm not even, even going to go there. He, I mean, he's just he's just a square up fighter boxer. Fighter first, boxer second. And, and I think that may be his detriment uh, to um, to this fight. And again, I think Canelo will get outlanded in this fight just because of it looks like his activity. So anyways, uh, his activity in his last fights that I've seen on YouTube. So barbershop conversation, guys. Uh, feel free to hit the subscribe. But we got a fight Saturday night. I'm not paying for this fight. I'm actually going to stream it. Um, it's not worth $65 to me. So barbershop conversations. Feel free to subscribe. But if you pay for this fight, put in the comment section if you pay for this fight. <laughs> if you pay for this fight, I'm definitely going to ask you for a loan a little bit later on. Not even a loan. I'm just going to ask you to give me some money. <laughs> barbershop conversations. Talk to you guys soon. Peace.